Lupe Fiasco says he career ended after lasers. Lupe Fiasco alleges that Liar Cohen, the industry executive who has worked at Warner Music Group and Def Jam in addition to co-founding 300 Entertainment, threatened to stop promoting his records if he refused to sign a 360 record deal. He recalled the alleged conversation during an appearance on Way Up with Angela Yee last week. He says it occurred after the release of his second studio album, The Cool. I tell artists this because I think it's important to let the artistic community know this is what you're really dealing with. He began as caught by vibe. I'm not making this up. I'm not gassing anything. And I'll stand on this in the court of law. Liar was like, yo, if you don't sign this 360 deal, we're not promoting your records. He further alleged that Cohen told him, not only are we not promoting your records, we're not promoting even the records that we give you. Despite being willing to negotiate the terms of the 360 deal, it ended up falling through. I didn't sign and my career was like goodbye, he said. My career ended at Lasers. Fiasco dropped Lasers as his third studio album in 2011. It debuted at number one on the US Billboard 200 after selling 200,000 copies in the first week. He since released a total of nine studio albums and none have charted as high. Lupe Fiasco discusses his career checkout Fiasco's full comments on dealing with the business side of the music industry below. He dropped his ninth studio album, Samurai, back in June.